Hey everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of Steam on a Budget. In this series, we browse the Games Under $5 tab on Steam and scope out some potentially awesome games for a low cost. Games that are on sale under $5 do not apply. The games featured are mostly, if not all, first impressions and not reviews, so please take these videos and opinions with a grain of salt. Without further ado, let's get this thing going. Today we'll be exploring a game called Betrayer, developed and published by Black Powder Games. This title was released on March 24th, 2014. The game is just at our $5 mark, being $4.99. This game includes 21 achievements and is labeled an action-adventure indie game. The dark colors and emphasis on red seem to fit the darker tones of the game. It popped up multiple times on my Steam homepage, and I've personally thought on trying it out. The description reads, Betrayer is a first-person action-adventure game that takes you to the new world at the turn of the 17th century. The year is 1604. You sailed from England expecting to join a struggling colony on the coast of Virginia. Instead, you find only ghosts and mysteries. What catastrophe blighted the land and drained it of color and life? Where are the settlers and tribes who lived here? Clue by clue, you must piece together the story of what befell this doomed settlement and find a way to set things right. You will be hunted by corrupted conquistadors and ravening shadows as you explore an expansive wilderness in order to trace the brief, tragic history of the colony and search for survivors. With 2,069 reviews coming out to an 82% positive rating, I take it that this game will be pretty solid. I'm excited to play it, so let's hop right into it. Here we go. Here we go. I've never... The, the only... Uh, the only... Uh, stuff I know <laughs> about this game is uh, whatever I said in the intro and whatever the Steam page said. So let's get this thing going. I'm excited. It looks like a mix of uh, action-y kind of stuff with well, a little bit of horror. Now that I'm seeing this and listening to it, I'd say a lot of horror, but all right. Shipwrecked. Okay. Well, right off the bat, I'm going to say visually it's it's pretty okay. It's pretty good. Okay. What really grabbed my attention? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right. That's Do we have a weapon? Is that what that is? Um, no. I guess that's our fist. Alright, what have we got in the options? Let's just check this out really quick. Show map position, health and ammo display, compass. Um, deadly enemies, deadlier. Oof. We're gonna go with deadly death loot drop. Not entirely sure. Crosshair. Ooh. All right. Oh. No, thank you. We'll just go with the. No, let's let's do something fun. Which dot is the most fun? Uh. uh okay. We'll go with that one. All right. So I guess that's our option capabilities. I assume audio is generic audio settings. Um, if not, we're gonna be missing out on some good audio options. Musket load? Okay. Oops, my bad. So, like I was saying, uh, I really, really enjoy this, uh, the black and white, the mono monotone? Mono whatever. Uh, Maybe there's a reason for it. I've noticed noticed in the uh, pictures that some of it is colored at some point. Like you could see 
the grass was green and whatnot, and I'm not sure. Maybe it's symbolic? We're, I, I don't know. That's why we're going to figure this out. It's also partially a mystery game. So that's neat. We get to fight stuff and solve crime. Oh. Alright, alright. Well, I assume there's a shop of some sort. I did, never mind. Yeah, I, I did see a shop type of thing in the trailer. And I think it should be in the video, in the very, in our intro of Steam on a Budget. Aw, oh, heck. Oh. All right. Ooh, one of these. <clears throat> Note. I do not know who you are and why you've come here, but you ch sorry, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place as I am. For the most part, I think we're technically trapped here as it seems our ship has been wrecked. But we're going to keep on going. We're just going to keep on going. This atmosphere is fantastic, actually. If... So far, if you were to tell me that, uh... This was like a $20 game on Steam, I'd be like... I, I, I could believe that, I could believe that. But I'm not saying all, uh, pricier games are better. There's some... Oh. oh, this is a mistake. Hold on. Dear sir or madam, I have come into possession of a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. As a token of my good faith, I offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a real, a, a real, a regular customer. Arrows will be free for a limited time as well. Beware that... They may sometimes deflect from armored enemies, so be sure to carry plenty and recover them when you can. I will put my trust in your honor to leave payment for whatsoever else you choose to purchase. Respectfully, John Howe, Merchant. Ah. What? Ooh, that's interesting. Can't carry item. Why not? Oh, maybe our inventory's full. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this. That's an interesting way to go about it. Though, it, it might be me. It looks a little bit dark. Ooh, sensitivity. <clears throat> well, there are no options for that, so... Here, let's give the bow a, a try. Let's give the bow a good try. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Goes straight through. Oop, okay. No, because your well-being is important to me, both fiscally and sentimentally, I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you can catch them unaware, for their rage makes them stronger. Shots to the head will also inflict more grievous injury. More grievous injury than those to the trunk, trunk or limbs. The trunk. Please rely on me whenever you find yourself in need of deadlier implements of warfare. Cordially, John Howe. Thanks, John. button. I don't know how accurate this is. Like, if there's going to be an arc. If I... Like, do I have to shoot? I'm going to try shooting exactly where the crosshair is. Well, I mean, I have to, but you know what I mean. Oh! oh. Alright. 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 
crude pistol? There are guns in this? What? The? Hold on. Oh, like a like a flintlocky type of type of weapon. Mm, ooh. All right. Gonna be using ranged weapons for this one. All treasure chests found. Maybe of that area. Uh, let's. Weapons you recover from slain adversaries are gener generally of, uh, excuse me, generally of poor quality, being both feeble, feebler, feeble, and more cumbersome to employ than you may desire. The weapons I offer are guaranteed to do more harm, and do it faster. Ooh, he's going in for the, the. Uh, he wants our, our gold. He wants our gold. John how you play a hard bargain. This game's very quiet. Maybe it's more stealth centric? Like, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Do we have... How do I... Ah, okay. Okay. Can't carry any more of that. Tomahawk? Well, I don't want to use it. Looks like I only have one. <clears throat> it was remiss of me not to mention remiss I don't know that one's not in my vocabulary oh shoot oh no I'm sorry ah uh, don't worry don't worry about it Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> All right, this game is very, very quiet. Silver fork. Maybe just a junk item to sell? That's what I assume. Okay. Okay. Ooh, all right. This could be good or bad. Let's find out. All right. I'm enjoying this. Uh, controlling the game feels... It, it feels fine. Like, it feels good. Uh, nothing feels weird about it. It's just... It's, it's good. It's good. Well, well, if the the invitation is there, let's go. Oh, should I be nervous? Fort Henry? Ah, is that an enemy or? I'm gonna trust these people. Indian arrows that were most likely intended for the head of a sentry. Okay. Short bow. I'm going to assume it's safe here. Drinking from a barrel will restore your health and refill your water skin if you have one. Um, I don't think I have one yet. Okay. Ooh. Though the figure appears human, it is only ash and ember. Okay, crude charm inventory. Reload muskets, pistols, and crossbows five five percent faster. I almost said five times. That would be incredible. Let's see. An ornate bell. It appears to be in good condition. It could probably be remounted from where it hung. Ooh. Is this a person? No. Another ash figure. Mm. 
well. Let's see. What is this? So something appears to be buried here, but the soil is too hard to dig up with your bare hands. Okay. We will have to find a shovel. Does John Howe sell one? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Page scrap. The Indian king, whom they call a... Wur... Okay. Uh... I can't, mm -mm, that one's not, not working for me. Was much pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets, and gave us in return an abundance of corn and bear meat, which is an excellent... Ficual? Fi oh my god. Oh my god. My vocabulary isn't this this expanded. This game is going to expand my vocabulary. <laughs> Either that or I'm 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 just an idiot. Alright. Okay. I I fear the worst is about to come. Oh Christ! I'm sorry. I wasn't wrong. No, they're gonna come alive. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, alright. I'm. Oh! I'm sorry then. Uh, too hard to dig with your bare hands. Uh. All right. Oh, I thought I saw something. Can drink from the water skin. Be fill. Be sure to fill it. What could these be? Whoa! I have no idea what that means. What does this do? Ah! Hold on. Oh! Ah! Uh. Uh, more Indian arrows. Either there was a large scale attack or several smaller skirmishes. Ooh, hidden treasure chest. Hardly hidden. The Lord Governor has determined that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry, for we are harried constantly by the naturals, who have recently grown more hostile toward us hostile toward us for unknown reasons. Well that sounds like a personal issue. Okay, can I Okay, no. No. Okay. It was worth a try. It's worth a try. Let's see. Oh! Ah! Oh. Right. A small trowel well suited by break to breaking up hard soil. Excellent. Alright. Take that. Oh! Dug up what appears to be a human eyeball, though it feels more like a stone. It is strangely heavy and warm in your hand. It seems that you can see things you couldn't before. Like what? Oh. It did say there were ghosts. Dug up a petrified ear, like the eye you found. It is heavy and warm. It seems you can hear things you couldn't before. This is interesting. Something appears to be buried here, but the soil is too rocky that it will take more than a- Oh my goodness. Alright. We just don't have the tools for the job right now. Alright. Should I be worried? I don't think shooting a ghost is really gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna... 
it's the only one. According to our prisoner, the Spaniards, Spaniards keep to keep, sorry, seek to destroy settlements that might be useful for privateering against their treasure fleets, and will surely come to us again, at us again. We need reinforcements if we are to repel further attacks. I'm watching. Oh. Dug up a petrified tongue. It is. It too is heavy and warm. It seems you can now speak to those who couldn't. Who couldn't hear you before? This one's too rocky. Yeah. Well, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm gonna. I'm going in. Who is Martha? Oh, Wraith. Where is Martha? I'm sorry for holding a gun up to you. Who is Martha? My wife. <laughs> Who are you? <clears throat> I'm Captain William Eastgrove. Where did you last see her? On the hillside. We were sitting together. I was holding her hand, talking about our son. I shall find her for you if I can. Oh, hi. I hate to interrupt, but who are you talking to? <clears throat> I was speaking to a wraith named William Eastgrove. But I see no one. He appears in the dark. He appeared in the dark when I rang the bell and vanished when daylight returned. In the dark? How can that be? The sun has not moved in the sky. Are you certain of what you saw? I couldn't see him until I found the strange eyeball. That, excuse the dog, that is an unsettling discovery, and an odd thing to pick up. Oh no, alright, multiple choice. I didn't know what it was at first, I thought it might be useful, I personally find the tongue more unsettling. <laughs> okay, that one's probably true. Hope you didn't lick the wraith, I, oh, you didn't lick the wraith, I hope. That's, alright. Though I confess, I'm suddenly curious what one might taste like. Oh, who are you? I, I can't remember. I'm sure that I lived here, for this place is familiar. But it's like a dream. I can't quite recall. Do you remember anything? My sister. I've been searching for her, but I can't remember. Her name is... Oh, her name either. My bad. Perhaps she is hiding from the Spaniards, for they seem more... Seem more beasts than men. Okay, got it. Spaniards. Spaniards? I've seen no one but you since I awoke in the forest days ago. I assure you that there are no Spaniards here. Not anymore. Uh, they seem real enough? One of us is not seeing this, the world as it is. Um, I'm going to say they seemed real enough. Like the darkness and the wraith? What did he want of you anyway? He's searching for his wife. I would help you find her, but it is hard to track what one cannot see. And I must seek my sister. Please let me know if you see her. We are twins, so she should be easy to recognize. Where shall I find you if I have news to report? Let us meet in this fort for now. I shall also like to learn the outcome of your search for the Wraith's wife. I can't help but worry what's become of her. Very well. Listening will lead you to areas of interest. You will find different locations in the normal worlds versus the other worlds, so be sure to listen to both. And that's just a small glimpse of Betrayer. I can tell that this game has a lot more content worth checking out. If you enjoyed what you saw, check the game out on Steam and consider picking it up. Thanks for watching.